They get in the chant of W Connection. So these young players definitely have a lot to show, a lot of talent. The referee has blown and a W Connection kick off from the professional distance. Maybe it's just about 30 yards and it's a goal. So early into this contest, we have our first goal. We talked about the number 10, the captain of W Connection, Molik Khan, getting onto the score sheet. And again, the support, it seems that maybe a proud mom uh, on that side of the field. And that side of the stands, actually. So Khan gets the first goal of this encounter. That was in the foot trying to play out to the back. Well, close down, but gets the second opportunity to put it in. Oh, Khan just missing another opportunity, but free kick. Trying too much there and gifting possession away. Kicking off and try to get past the defender. Yes, he can. Can he get a shot off? Very, very strong play there. Uh, at goal there. Oh, it's in. It is in. It is all square. It is 1-1. One, one. Oh. Scores 1-1. One, one. Ball floated in. Oh, the defender comes up on top with that. Tries to get this shot. Almost digging it out. But unfortunately, doesn't trouble the goalkeeper. Using the one to play. Oh, delightful ball. Chance here for Sandu. And goal number two. Club Sandu take the lead. Exquisite finish. So the number 14 with such a beautiful finish that uh, Jalen Brereton Khan wants it back. Oh, opportunity here. Goalkeeper. Khan has the confidence to shoot from anywhere. Also does this player defender in the way. So this one is going to be floated in. Defenders on top. And that's the end of the first half of football here at the Atto Bowling Stadium. It is a Club Sando 2, W Connection 1. We will be back with second half action between these two teams in the Flow Youth League under 14s. W Connection in the familiar green strips. Club Sando in the all orange kit. If they can get that third goal, wins it. Free kick says the referee. I think that was a bit soft. Again, chance here for W Connection. The referee has given a penalty. Dylan has looked a bit shaky. And very confident into the back of the net. So the scores are now level at two goals apiece. Dante Gilbert putting away the penalty. Ball shot for Mollick. Can unable to wrap his boot around it. Having the keeper in no man's land. Heavily applauded by 
the Double Connection support. Khan, squared, should be a goal. The W Connection take the lead. They are up by three goals to two. And one defensive lap has cost them. May have been deemed to be dangerous or pushing. If you're looking for a Christmas gift, there you've got it. Jared Edmond to putting the substitute goalkeeper. It looks like Jarrell Thorne is the substitute keeper. Again, a rousing applause to the goalkeeper. The young man can only learn from such an experience. Terrell Burrow comes on. Khan trying to get a hat trick. This goalkeeper seems to be willing to get on the ground. So we have the full-time whistle here. The w Connection romped to victory by four goals to two. Club Sando actually giving a very good fight. But in the second half, it was all W Connection. And they've got the winner in this one. So this is uh, the under 14 of the Flow Youth League. W Connection winners by four goals to two. Well, definitely the league is um, in a good place. It, it, it keeps getting better and better every year. I think more people and more players uh, being involved in, in all the professional teams. Uh, it influences because we, we get players from all around. We, get, we try to get the best players. All the teams try to get the best players from their area to try to, 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 to put out a good uh, team for whichever club. Okay, well, um, the game went pretty well, you know, as the first game we played, we didn't, pl we didn't get to play our first game. It went pretty well for us, um, it, 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 it shows us, you know, what we have to work on, um, how, how, how we have to balance the team a little bit. This was our really first game, so um, we, we learn a lot from, from the game, and I as coach learn a lot because of where I've put in certain players and what balance I have to play, but I think um, we played against a good opposition as well. They had a really good forward, uh, they had a balanced team, and we just have to try to balance our team some more. I don't know, we came third last year, I always try to do better every year, um, but all the teams are stronger as well, so I don't really put pressure on the, on the players too much to uh, win the game. I try to make them at least try to play proper football. So that's my real goal, to make sure that they're playing properly. Well, we try to practice how we play, as I say, we start the season very short, so we didn't have a lot of practice sessions in. But so far, um, defensively, we try to work on a couple of things. Um, it's working, so now we have to go to more of the offensive play. Hi, my name is Dante Gilbert, number seven for the Connection, and I am 13 years old. Well, I felt very confident in myself during the gameplay today. Um, it wasn't that it wasn't a tough game, but the players wasn't consistent in what they were doing. So the club Sano team managed to score two early goals and we were um, trailing behind. Well, at the end of the game, I feel joyful that we come out of the victory, coming back from uh, a 2-1 two, two one, two one defeat. And, um, we came back hard and strong in the second half. I put in two early goals. Well, my team members are very hard working in training, so it makes it easy for us to come out and work hard on the game pay. Influencing young ones to kill a boy now. He ain't no bad man, boy now. He ain't no bad man. A real bad man works so whatever he wants.